So, we're discussing arrows and which arrows are the best in Minecraft. This includes, of course, the tipped arrows as well. So, we're looking at, of course, regular arrows versus tipped arrows, and we're going to wonder which one is best. Well, let's go ahead and start looking at some of these tipped arrows. Oh, that's not it. Uh -huh. So, there's a lot of arrows right here that have a lot of effects. Now, right away, when we look at a lot of the arrows, we notice that a lot of them are kind of like positive effects, like adding strength, leaping, night vision, things like that. Typically, when you want to get this effect or give it to your friend, you don't want to do it through an arrow, you know, by shooting somebody. I mean, it kind of makes it interesting and fun, but typically you don't want to do that. You're going to want sort of a negative effect. So already that cuts our list pretty much in half. So now we're looking at some of these other ones. There's uh, like harming and slowness and weakness. Um, as far as which ones I think are the most effective, um, let's go ahead and pull out a couple. Poison is one of them. Weakness. Slowness. Of course, you know, the higher the slowness, the better. Slowness. Since, since three. Oh, yeah, see, some of them are kind of a different kind of slowness. Um, harming. And if you're in Bedrock, there's Arrow of Decay, but I'm pretty sure Arrow of Decay does not exist in Java. So sometimes Bedrock does have things that Java doesn't. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, uh, is that all? Oh, oh, actually, healing, technically. Okay. So let's get our bow. And then get some regular arrows. Because we will want some of those as well. So let's put down some monsters. Some zombies. Some creepers. Some skeletons. Okay, so let's take our bow. And oh, we're going to want a chest, of course, because otherwise it's just going to shoot whatever we have. Let's put all these in here, okay? Okay, so here's, of course, our regular bow and arrow. Just does so much damage. Very nice all around and fairly cheap to make. Now we're going to come here and pull out some instant health. Now where is health useful? When fighting the undead. Look at that. Killed him in two hits. So that's where health is effective. Of course, harming would actually technically heal them. Uh, instant damage, of course. Harming. So harming's good against a creeper, but not so much good against a zombie. Uh, poison. Give him poison for a little bit. Then, of course, let's get another one. Slowness, slowness, slowness. Oops. This is nice because it slows them down a little bit. Hey, chase me. Still pretty fast, actually. Whoa. Okay. So we saw using slowness, of course, those guys are kind of fast already as it is. Regrettably, slowness doesn't slow them down all that much. Which is kind of unfortunate. I would have considered slowness to be one of the better arrows if it worked better. So now I've already looked at a couple of these. Now these aren't the only arrows. There's also like the spectral arrow. Which, if you shoot something, then highlights it. Even when it's behind something, you can still see it. So now we've come to the question, which of these are best? Well, I've already listed the ones, the ones, which ones are best. Health, harming, not Turtle Master. Nah. Poison, weakness, slowness, and of course you got healing, harm, poison. Yeah, and then regular arrows. Spectral is kind of nice, but it's kind of expensive, so I usually actually don't include it. So which one of these do I think is best? I think, hands down, poison is the best. Because usually when you're shooting something, it'll, it'll constantly hurt it. Now, I mean, harming and healing are good because harming hurts regular mobs, healing hurts the other, but sometimes you're going to be fighting one or the other, and you don't want to have, you know, be fighting both of them and one of you healing while the other one you're trying to kill. So that's kind of the downside of harming and healings. So uh, I, I really do think that poison is the best because then it constantly hurts it, and then you can, you know, duck away somewhere while it starts to hurt it. You know, slowness, it seems like it's good, but slowness just doesn't slow them down enough. So that's the problem with slowness. Spectral arrows, too expensive. 
And I think that's pretty much all the arrows that we looked at. I mean, some of the other ones are kind of cool, but I think Poison Arrow by far is the most effective. Which arrow do I think is the next most effective, the next best arrow? Believe it or not, I think the second best arrow is just a regular good old-fashioned arrow. Because of price. The thing about these dipped, you know, or these tipped arrows is they're kind of expensive, and you have to get into trading, right? Or other means. Like, I think you can find them sometimes. Looting and whatnot. But otherwise, you got to trade for them, and it can be kind of expensive. So, you know, that's why I put arrows high on the list. It's because they can be pretty effective in that sense, just because of how cheap they are. You know, sometimes just having a whole stack and then using it all up on your targets is just better than trying to use your tipped arrows sparingly, right? So I guess sometimes I make regular arrows the number one best arrow with poison the best number two arrow. It's just my opinion. But at least you know what I think about arrows. Most of the time it's better to just go with regular arrows. But of the tip, I choose poison. Okay, well, that's it. So, yeah, enjoy your arrows and go, go have fun with them, guys. Go have fun.